Good morning, failers. Well, we uh, just mounted some ice tires, DYI ice tires, um, to uh, my tubeless system, and my XL rims for the, the YZ450FX. So if you guys watched my last vlog at AOAA, <laughs> riding in the snow, that was not good. I hit the ground too many times, bent the bike all up, and took me a week, but I got it all back together. It's all, everything's either straightened or replaced it. Um, but here's my ice setup, my ice tires. These are inch and a quarter uh, tap cons and they're a quarter inch in diameter with a uh, quarter 20 nuts on them. I did not do the sides count of hitting the exhaust just in case of the suspension and stuff and uh, just to save some time. I have 118 in the rear and I have 108 in the front and I skipped I skipped lugs and stuff. And then I do have the tubeless system in there. So, uh, went on tubeless website and they say if you use a tire sealant, which I'm using slime, um, use the slime to lubricate your, uh, your red bladder, your inside, your tubeless system, and lubricate the inside of your bead on your tire. So that's what I did with the slime instead of using soap and water. And... I'll tell you what, using slime instead of soap and water, these tires went on so much easier. Oh my god. I had a weak downfall because of uh, when I dismounted the tires, I went to put on uh, my Sedona MX907HP. I couldn't mount it because of my rim tape inside. I had so much water that it never evaporated, turned the ice, and screwed up my rim tape. So I had to. Uh, Go to Rocky Mountain ATV, order uh, some rim tape, and end up ordering um, another Sedona, but it's a 110-100 uh, instead of a 120-90. I want a little bit more cushion, a little bit more footprint uh, from a tubeless system. So uh, we're going to mount that after winter. Um, it's first week of February uh, we just got snow temperatures are uh, no longer in 50 degrees when I was trying them out that Sedona last weekend now they're in the 30s grounds frozen or snow on the ground and I'm heading north tomorrow um, I'm gonna do a little bit of ice or snow riding in ice uh, at uh, my family's uh, cabin um, so we're gonna get some video of that and test out these new DYI uh, ice tires. Now these are my old ones. These are my old stock Dunlop uh, AT81s. And if you haven't noticed, right here, I I got a uh, a tire knife, which you cut your rubber to get an edge. See how this edge is rounded off? Now there's an edge here. I'll do a separate video of that uh, later on when I. Uh, cut uh, other tires. Um, it's called Tire Knife, and um, it's amazing. It's a really hot knife, and you just slice right through your rubber to get an edge back on. They're fifty dollars, but one-time use, you will absolutely pay for itself because that's a tire, fifty bucks. Actually, tires are what sixty up. So, one time use, and you have basically a brand new tire, you have a brand new edge, and that's why you lose traction. So, instead of flipping tires all the time, try to get the maximum life, I now just slowly put a new edge on them. So, stay tuned. Uh, always, please subscribe. When you subscribe, hit that ringing bell uh, so you'll get notifications uh, right away. And like and please comment if you have any questions i will do my absolute best to uh get back to you so till then you're watching compound cowball Yee -yee.